Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo Tooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Last time, we started up on Pterodactyl Land, and we went into a room, and we somehow got duped into another first person shooter segment, which uh, I thought was going to be a boss at first, but then he ate us and told us that we have to help his stomach problem. I wonder what happens if we say no. Will he really digest you like he said? Okay, I said no, but... Okay... Oh, it's just a shooting minigame. Maybe this... Maybe this won't be as... As bad as, like, a... As, like, the other, like, a... First-person shooter segments. This is actually not that bad, actually. It's more like, uh... I thought I was gonna have to, like, run around rooms and not be able to find stuff again. Kind of stuff that I'm not very good at, especially not without a map. I'm your blue guy. You want to tell me how many points I'm supposed to get? Because I said no, and you just kind of like said, "Okay, you're gonna do this anyways." I'm your blue guy. Where you at? How many do I gotta get? You didn't tell me how many I was supposed to get. Okay, what happens if I press B? No, B. Okay, I guess it does let you go. Oh, I was hoping when you did your little attack, it would uh, turn you into a uh, fire thingy. A fire attack. Alright, Mr. Dude, I'm ready to help you out again if you tell me how many points you gotta get. Because I don't remember how many points I just got there, but it was... Okay, so I guess you just stomp on this thing and he comes up and... Eats you? No? Come on, guy, you can help me out if you want. Ow. Okay, fine, go back to the flying thingy. That's not too bad, though. I thought it was going to be a whole first-person, like, shooter segment. Not just, uh, little fun and games. See, I don't think there's anything... Oh, look, we can get up there. But, let's do this. Alright, cock your kazooie, and we're good to go. You want to tell me how many I gotta get, though? I'm just gonna do this. Hold down the button and then just turn it in a circle. That should give me a fair amount of uh, everything that I need. I didn't realize you could just hold down the button. I thought you actually had to constantly press it, but this works. And no, I'm not using a turbo controller, I'm just holding down the button. I didn't realize that, that would actually constitute shooting. If I could have done this for like a that uh, space mini game in Witchy World. But, uh, maybe I would have not taken like six tries to beat it. Okay, where, where are you at? Up here. Okay, how many do I gotta get? I got like 80 points here. Alright, very good. Hey, hey, our first Jiggy for the world. Cool. You know what? Let's do it again, just to see if he gives us gives us anything. He probably won't, but let's just make sure. Okay, we gotta beat, what, 81 now? Okay, as far as first person shooter segments go, this is actually much more enjoyable than the other two. I'd rather play this one like five times and play 
the other first person shooter segment like one time. And I think I beat my score already, didn't I? Or if I didn't, I have close to it. Come on, I can get a hundred. There we go, I got a hundred. Not sure if I'm actually gonna get anything for it, but the stomach ulcer challenge. 108. No, if you're not gonna give me anything, no. Oh well, that was fun enough. Way to make me think you're a boss, though, when you're really just a dinosaur with a with a stomach ache. Okay, there's one other area I wanted to look at down here. I couldn't tell if there was actually something down here or not, so let's go check it out real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, not right there. Right here. I couldn't tell if there was actually... No, I thought, I thought because there was a path right here, there might actually be something uh, in that path, but I guess not. Anyways, let's take our flying pad and see if we can't get all the way up to the top of this area and see what's in that little hole right there. Alright, feel free not to swallow me this time, buddy. I helped you out, but I don't wanna... I don't wanna be a dino biscuit again. Okay, there's that. And then is there anything else up here? It's a shame there's not more flying segments of this. Oh, I see a jiggy. I'm not sure if we can get it though, so I'm probably gonna ignore that. And there's an egg. And... Oh. Okay, where are we? Okay, there's where he came in. There's a split up. There's an egg. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. There's a switch of some sort. Okay, let's see if we're actually allowed to hatch the egg this time. Repairing holes in their nest recently? Wait, what? Wait, Kazooie can't get up there by herself anyways, can she? Or if she can, then I'm not sure how to do it. Okay, so apparently there's not a whole lot we can do in here. But I saw the Jiggy, I saw another entrance, and I saw some place that we can't actually do anything with. So, with all that being said, let's get out of here. Because so I know there was a couple areas that we could uh, explore outside. Okay, look, there's another... There's another, uh... You know what, this might actually... Can you fly by Kazooie by yourself? I don't know if you can, let's try that. Let's take Kazooie over to the flight pad. And see if we can't fly without... Without Banjo. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Alright, one of the red feathers. Okay, you can fly. Okay. Now let's go to that egg. Okay, I wasn't sure if you actually could fly by yourself. Well, that answers that question. Alright, Mr. Egg, come here. Alright, let's try this again. Stolen property. I'm trying to help you out here, lady. But fine, don't care about anything that I do for you. And hey, I did not realize that Kazooie glides when she doesn't have Banjo with her. Like, normally you'd st with Banjo you'd stop flapping your wings after a few seconds, but I guess with her, if you hold down the button, you keep on going. That's pretty useful. It means you're not going to take fall damage. 
I didn't realize it. That's uh, we weren't, I'm learning a whole lot of new things today. One, that we can't hatch eggs, and two, that Kazooie's a lot lighter by herself, and three, that this guy doesn't like me, and four, that this guy is trying to kill me. Ow. Which might go along with number three, actually. Alright, there was a switch over here. There it is. Alright, Mr. Stego. Thank you. You're not gonna give me help? You little shit. Ooh, there's more stuff up there. Oh, the train station. There we go. Not sure where exactly in the level this is, but... It's there. And I don't think we can get up there yet. So, let's just ignore you. Okay, let's try ground pounding this thing, because it's a, a big button. No? Okay. That's not going to do anything for us, then. Where you get up there? Oh, there's a, another mumbo area. And it's right side of... Right outside of Humble Wumpus Hut. Okay. That works, I guess. <laughs> Looks like it's kind of hot in here, though. I hear a... Globo, where you at? I hear you chuckling. Where you at, buddy? Give her chuckles. Alright. There we go. Now we get the transformation. Maybe, maybe we'll turn into a Stegosaurus, too. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see, I see... Oh, we're just at the top of the area, okay. Let's see, I see a split-up pad. I'm not sure if we've already been there. Um, there's jump shoe thingies. There's other stuff that we can't accomplish yet. Uh, there's something in there. Let's ignore that for... Ooh, there's notes. That always helps. Path to nest. Okay. It's kind of up in the air, but I don't think we can get up there, but... Okay, how are we supposed to get over there? Because I don't think we can make that jump. So, we'll come back here, I guess. Okay, there's that caveman guy that we can't get past, because he's apparently tougher than all the bosses in the world put together. Otherwise, we'd just be able to go right past them. Let's see, where does this end up at? Okay, there's that move tutor. So, you know what? Let's go take care of that real quick. Ow. And then we'll go see what's up with other areas. See, how, many, how many moves and stuff are in this world, anyways? Let's see... Oh, three moves! Wow, that's kind of a lot. Springy Step Shoes. Okay, so those little shoes we saw, I guess we can use those now. Choose your spot with the greatest care. Only one jump for the bird and bear. Fantastic. Come on, hit your head. Ah, you're supposed to hit your head, you little bastard. Or not. Didn't he make a pair of shoes appear like right next to him? No? Ah, well. Anyways, let's just go explore more of this world, which is much bigger than I originally thought it might be. And, okay, you're just sitting out in the open, so I'm going to take a wild guess and say that you're one of those dastardly, bastardly minjos. And that's what I thought. Take that, you little bastard. Okay, so here's a train station. Oh, I guess now we can uh, get that uh, Triceratops dude back here. So let's see if we can't call the train.
the attractions of the witchy world. Yes, I want you to come here with your uh, with your cargo, please. There she is. It's not your fault you were captured in a museum. Or it might have been your family. Your, your fault. I don't know. Okay, so... <laughs> For the next month is punishment. Okay, so... Wait, we don't get a Jiggy for that? Where's our Jiggy there, bud? Don't tell me actually how to, to, like, go find out where you live, and then I can get a Jiggy. Yeah, you bastard. Ow. Come here, you little shit. Take your punishment like a man. Just like she's gonna take her punishment like a dinosaur. Screw you! I don't like you. Okay, let's see. Let's go back up here, since there was more stuff up here for us to accomplish. Okay, there's gotta, there's gotta be a way to get past you. Let's see if I can't get to the side with my little, uh... My little clockwork egg thingy. No? That guy's got a rock solid defense, I guess. You know what? Let's try Wonder Winging. Unga Bungas want to rule all pterodactyl land. Oogles want to share. Okay, so how is. How is wanting to share bad? I mean, doesn't it like sharing, like help you you get one half of the world and he gets the other half that seems like a fair compromise to me but maybe I'm just talking nonsense I guess cool those are like little shrimps I, I thought they might have been like a prehistoric like fishies and that's why I was all excited for a second and then I realized they're not all that prehistoric at all. Uh, unless they actually are, in which case they are. But I can't tell if they are. I just thought they were kind of cool because they were down there and then I realized, eh. Okay, anyways, enough of that. You! I'm gonna die, obviously. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna try putting my little clockwork guy in there because it seems like it's a small enough hole for it to fit. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. But let's see if it can fit. And it can, what do you know? Okay, I only got like 20 seconds in here though. So, let's see. Okay, there's nothing in here unless I blow this guy up. No? Found gap in armor. Okay, so you gotta kill them by apparently blowing up their butt. Okay, and there's four more of you to kill? Okay, that's not what I was trying to do there, Mr. Joe. Okay, let's see, let's see. Alright, let's see what let's see what Humble Wumpa turns us into. Hey, you know what? We haven't looked at the Jiggy list for this world yet, have we? Okay, underneath the center of Terry's nest, um, that was like at the top of the mountain, I think. Fill the thirsty dinosaur's pool. I don't know where you are. Help this uh, Styracosaurus family. Um, maybe that's the, uh, the Triceratops we did earlier. 
people we gotta do more of them, I guess. Defeat Terry. Okay. Uh, warm up and get food for the Oogle Boogles. Uh, chop a sore, we got you. Watch and return Terry's eggs. You've been telling me not to hatch those eggs for like the past 30 minutes now. Um, on the stomping plains, defeat the Rock Nuts tribe, and small T Rex roar code. Okay. I don't know, but. Okay. Alright, let's see what these do. Hey, nice little jump. And it seems like after you do one big jump, they kind of disappear. Okay, let's see if we can't, uh... Okay, yeah, they're only good for one big jump, though. Let's see how long they last if you just use them for... ...running around. Alright, let's try this. There we go. Okay, let's let's search around here. Hopefully, without falling off. Oh, that was close. Okay, I see a jiggy. If I can get in there. Only when the secret code of the dinosaurs is heard will this jiggy be yours. Okay. Let's go in here, because I'm not sure what's in here. Okay, we got a... Okay. There was a... There was a hole over there. Mr. Clockwork Egg Thingy. How about we uh, utilize that? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let me try something here. I'm not sure if, uh... Okay, you can jump. Okay, I was gonna say, I wasn't sure if you could actually jump or not. But let's try this. He might actually be programmed to look at where Banjo and Kazooie are fall uh, standing, so... Let's try this again. No, you bastard! Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Yep, alright. Nice ass crack there, buddy. All go shape of the pair, but there's still three left. Alright, well, good for you. It's kind of undignified for you guys to not have any underwear on, but that's just my personal opinion of the matter. Hey, this is back in, uh. This is back in Maya Ham Temple. Okay, so that's just uh, another little shortcut. Okay, that works. Not that we're going to have too many reasons to go back here, but... Okay. It's there if you need it, I guess. And now I'm thinking we don't got to brave those steps over there anymore. Not that they're that dangerous in the first place, but... Okay, seriously, Banjo? Ow. Okay. Um, let's see, where are we? Let's see, where's that work pad that was around here? I see jump shoes. I'm gonna take a wild guess to say that's gonna get us to the top of, uh the top of that little spire right there. Which is a whole lot of nothing up here, apparently. Um, 
I see holes over there, so maybe we gotta go over there. Hey, let's go over there. Alright, give me a clockwork egg. Nope. Clockwork. Nope, not those. That. Oh, well, that only recovers one egg. That's, uh, very generous of you there. Okay, nothing in there. Something in here. Hey there, big butt. All go shape of the pear. I don't get that. Maybe, maybe it was it. Oh, damn it, I didn't even see that down there. You know what? Let's, uh, see what's in here. Let's see, there was a whole, there was a cage thing over here, so... Holy crap, that's a lot of cages. Um... Uh, you know what? I see a Jinjo. So, let's head to this way, possibly. No? This way? Ah! Can you stop blowing yourself up? Alright, you know what? Let's just continue exploring over these areas. See, I think we went in here. That was where that guy was, wasn't it? Or not. Okay, what's up with all these dead ends? Come on, I gotta find this, uh... This jiggy... Okay, well, that's really helpful there, guy. Real helpful. Don't tell me those were just... Those just loop back around on themselves. Let's see. Let's try this one right here. This is actually, you know, next to the Jinjo cage. I hear you. I can't find you, though. Okay, I'm not sure how you're supposed to get to that guy, then. I think we already checked out this one right here, but let's just make sure. Yeah? Let's... Because there's a Jinjo. That just takes us up here. Huh. I have no idea. Let's see, I know some of those were dead ends. I'm not sure if we've been over there yet. Let's go find out, though. Oh, I think we have, yeah. This is just by... Wait, no, we haven't. I don't think we have. Nope. Looks like this. A Rockasaurus cage and an evil honeycomb. Thank you, Jake. Come here. Die. There we go. Beat Buster, this little bastard. And a jump pad for some reason, and a split pad for another reason. And. A little guy. How you doing, little guy? All the girls laugh at you. Well, that's what you get for being small there, little guy. You must be the one we rescued. No? Oh, okay, yeah, it is you. What, so you can be put back in a cage again? Don't you dare fart on me, guy. I will not be pleased. Scratch. 
rat. He's very sickly and needs a doctor. Okay, so I know the uh, Mumble said there was nothing to heal in the train. So maybe if we get him to the to the train, we can get him to the uh, healed. Scrit here was out walking one day and came back. Wow, so he got shrunk. Okay. Mumbo's not bad, he's just mildly greedy. Okay, how about if I talk to you and tell you the train's here? Will you go over there? The cave man you ate? Yeah, that might be it. Pterodactyl done? Yeah, that might also... That also might be... Something is wrong with your digestion. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be a whole lot in here we can do. Unless these are actually considered eggs, which I doubt it. Oh wait, what's up? What's in there? I didn't see that. Will you get off, Kazooie. Okay, so Mr. Mumbo, indeed. Okay, I see what we gotta do. We gotta go bring the Mumster over here, and I'm gonna guess he's gonna perform his Mumbo magic and make this guy feel all happy, happy. Is there a... I was gonna say, is there a warp pad over near this guy, or... Let's see, where are we in relation to Mumbo's hut? Not really sure, actually. This level sure is big and confusing. This is another level where it'd be nice to have a mini-map. Okay, Triceratops, Honeycomb... Um, that's not a warp pad, I don't think. Are you the... No? They said something about a thirsty dinosaur, but all the dinosaurs I've seen have either been sick or they attacked me. Okay, Mumbo, where do you live again? Okay, oh, there's Humble Wumbo. Alright, so I know how to get over here. So let's go find uh, Mumbo and take him over to the dinosaur and see if that works. And I'm assuming that Mumbo is the same shaman Mumbo that lives outside of, uh, outside of the train station as the one that lives in here. So why can't he just heal him in here? Let's go, Mumbo. We got work to do, buddy. You and your non-existent uh, physical prowess. Let's go talk to Humpa Wumba and see what she says. Let's see what this says first. Hope this works. Okay. Enlarge? Enlarge Wumba's wig pimp. Uh, okay. Not sure what this has to do with anything, but... I wonder if she made Wumba... if she made Wumba bigger. Giant boobs? I like the idea of that. No? Just the house itself? I got a globo for you. Why not? Maybe she is bigger. Ooh. Jumbo sized boobies. I like the sound of that. And I do think Indian chicks are hot in uh, real life, so maybe that's why she's attractive here. I wonder why they have bad blood between each other. I wonder why they not like each other. Speaking of which, I wonder what she's going to turn us into in this level, since uh, we're in a dinosaur-based level, so I don't know why 
I don't, I don't know what kind of technology uh, she could turn us into here. Since that seems to be the theme of her... theme of her uh, turning people into stuff is technology-based things. Um, and where did that stupid... Was it up here? I think it was, actually. We're gonna go see if we can't get that Triceratops up to size. Because it enlarged... I noticed that... Okay, it enlarged the stepping stones, and then it enlarges her hut. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's gonna enlarge the... the... Tyrakosaurus or whatever back to his normal size. Alright, where are we at? There we go. Go. At least we're keeping it consistent within the world. I like that. You're still not all that big there, guy. You're still pretty damn small, actually. Oh, I was gonna say if it stayed there, I was gonna try to make him small again just to fuck with him. But I guess that's not the Banjo Kazooie way of being nice to the Styrocosaurus. All right, let's go back to Wumbas, and then after that, we'll call this an episode. And then next time, we will use Wumba to make Banjo and Kazooie into whatever it is that. Uh, they need to be turned into. So guys, next time I'll meet you outside Wumba's hut with uh, Banjo-Kazooie, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.